Welcome to the Ultimate Sports Podcast Special Edition Series, where I preview every college basketball conference for the 2019 college basketball season. Next up is the SOCON Conference. I'm going to do my projected standings order, player of the year, freshman of the year, coach of the year, who makes what tournament, and what coaches could be on the hot seat and could jump for better opportunities. All right. In first place in this conference, I have the East Tennessee State Buccaneers. Made the CIT a year ago, 24-10 and 10 last year, 13-5 and 5 in SOCOM play. Steve Forbes in year number five on the job. Bo Hodges, Jeremy Rodriguez, and Davian Williamson lead the way. In second place, I have the UNC Greensboro Spartans, made the NIT last year, 29-7 and last year, 15-3 and in the SOCON. West Miller in year number nine on the job. Noble players, Isaiah Miller and James Dickey. In third place, I have the Furman Paladins, who made the NIT last year, 25-8, and 13-5 and in the SOCON. Bob Ritchie. In year number three, Noble Player coming back in Jordan Lyons. In fourth place, I have the Wofford Terriers, who made the big dance last year, made the second round. 30-5 and five last year, 18-0 um, in the SOCON. Mike Young leaves for Virginia Tech, so now Wofford has a new head coach. Um... Nathan Hoover comes back, and they have a nice freshman in Zion Richardson. 15th or 5th, I have the Chattanooga Mocs, 12 and 20 last year, 7 11 in conference play. Lamont Paris, in year number 3 on the job. In 6th place, I have the Sanford Bulldogs, 16 and 15 last year, 6 and 12 in the SOCON. Scott Paget is in. Year number six on the job. Josh Sharkley's noble player coming back. Seventh place, I have the Western Carolina Catamounts. Seven and twenty-five last year, four and fourteen in the SoCon. Mark Proser in year number two. Um, Carlos Dotson is the noble player coming back. Eighth place, I have the Mercer Bears. Eleven and nineteen last year, six and twelve in the SoCon. Bob Hoffman moves on from Mercer. After a long time, now he's the coach at Central Oklahoma. And now Mercer has a new head coach. Ross Cummings is the noble player that is returning. In ninth place, I have the VMI Cadets. 11-21 and 21 last year, 4-14 and 14 in the SOCOM. Dan Earl in year number 5. And in the cellar, I have... The Citadel Bulldogs, 12 and 18 last year, 4 and 14 in the SOCOM. Double Gerbakum is the coach, and he is in his ninth, or I'm sorry, fifth season. Nine would be a while for him. Hm. Player of the year, I have Isaiah Miller of UNC Greensboro. He'll help lead that team to the near top of the SOCON. They'll be battling it out with East Tennessee State and Furman throughout the year. Freshman of the year, I'm going to go Zion Richardson. Funny that we have another Zion in college basketball. Coach of the year, Steve Fords, East Tennessee State. I think he brings that team back to the tournament this season. A coach, in my opinion, that could jump for greener pastors could be Wes Miller of UNC Greensboro. He's done a fantastic job there in his tenure, and I think that he deserves a better opportunity. A coach, in my opinion, that is on... The hot seat is Scott Paget at Sanford. If he has an underwhelming season, I think he could get let go. And Duggar Balkum is the other one that I think could potentially get fired as well. Next up is the SWAC Conference. <laughs>